Good morning, everyone. That is some Tuesday enthusiasm for you. Welcome to Atlanta & Company. I'm Christine Pilara, so happy to be with you. It's time to get the show started with a very special edition of It's All Good, and today, it's all Olympics. Someone who has the scoop on all of our local athletes, our very own Cheryl Preheim. Cheryl, thank you for it's being here. It's good to be here. I'm, okay, first of all, <laughs> uh, normally we're going to be focusing. Cheryl has been interviewing local athletes probably since 2019. Yes. We're going to get to them in just a minute. But, of course, we have some breaking news of the day. Local, international news, we should mm -hmm. say. Simone Biles withdrawing from the U.S. gymnastics team due to officials, what they're calling a medical issue. Issue. The remaining three members of the team were still able to win a silver medal for that event. And just in the last few mm -hmm. minutes, uh, Cheryl has an update. Uh, so Cheryl, what are, exactly are they saying? Was it more physical, mental? We uh, actually heard from Simone herself and oh, she good. said, physically, I'm okay. She said, emotionally, it's varying moment to moment. And what she said is that it's really starting to sink into her the weight of the pressure of being like the face of the Olympics, one of the faces of the Olympics. And she just said mm. it's, it's, not been, it's not been easy. And so she said she knew in that first vault she wasn't herself. She knew something wasn't right. So she made the decision to pull out, thinking that was best for the team. She huddled her team up. She said they started her words, freaking out. They were crying. And she said, no, you guys can do this. I believe in you. And yes. she kind of went into coaching mode. Good, good. And she was taking chalk out to them. And she was cheering them on. And people inside the arena said you could hear Simone's voice yelling and cheering on SUNY Grace and Jordan, who really then had to step up. I mean, you think about it. It'd be like, I heard a commentator say, this is such a good analogy. It would be like the Chicago. Chicago Bulls in the World Championship losing Michael Jordan at the last minute. Right. So it was really, really stunning for everyone from the athletes on the team itself. I think to Simone and to all of us who were watching. All of us. I know I, as I was getting ready this morning and Hoda Copy was breaking it on the Today Show and her voice was quivering, mm -hmm. tears in her eyes. Um, you know, when we think of her, she is just, she's the GOAT mm -hmm. and, uh, and will always and be. And still is, yeah. But uh, the pressure that these young people uh, and she's still young. I yeah. mean, my goodness, mm -hmm. let's not forget she may be a veteran in her sport, but she is young, and and I can't even imagine what she uh, has gone through, um, as you mentioned, just um, being this international face. And I think uh, Hoda talked about some things before she choked up that I think it's so good, like the context. It's not just about this singular moment, but you think about what Simone has endured, overcome, survived, she is a survivor yeah. of Larry Nasser's abuse, yes. what happened to so many of the U.S. gymnastics teams. She's the one person who was on the team at that time who's carried over. What she's faced in her life from the time she was a little girl until now, there is no doubt her incredible strength, not just physically, but inwardly. And for her to have the courage to say today, like, I don't feel okay. And then I got to be able to be honest about that. And but to still be on the sideline, yes. being that coach and teammate, I think really speaks tremendously to who she is. And then to see, I mean, SUNY had an incredible performance and and to see them step up. And so I, I want to mention one thing that one of the young ladies said, and I can't remember who said it because I just heard it. It was like an, a, a quick mention and she just said, I really hope America still loves us. And I thought, oh my God. I mean, I went into mom mode and oh. I thought, oh, no, 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 we still love you. We still love you. But that's the kind of pressure thinking that everyone's going to be mad at them or not like them because they did not win gold. Right. Because they were the favorite. And that's it would have been the third consecutive. Yes. I mean, just with all that we've been talking about, especially in this last year about mental health and, you know, when you need help, seek it and, and say it. Um, and the fact that she was able to come out and just say, this is, I'm not, I'm having a moment, but mm -hmm. also then still turn around and be so supportive. It's, it's incredible. And of course, keep it locked here on sure. 11 Alive. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, this story continues. Because they did ask, are you going to be competing in the individual, individual. events? And she's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a day to day. So we're going to find out. Good. We, we may still see her compete. And I know we, we hope that to be the case. But more than anything, I, I hope America can agree. We just want her to be OK. Yes, to be better. And yeah. uh, this whole segment was dedicated to uh, Cheryl's <laughs> uh, interviews and, and really relationships that she's built with so many local athletes. Um, so let's get to as many as we can. Oh, and we have so many. We're so I lucky. Know. Oh, my gosh. I want to start with Elijah Godwin. He is a hometown guy. I mean, he went to Newton High School. He uh, 
he grew up in Covington, Georgia. He's a UGA grad. Here he is with his mom, Ginger, at the airport. They just happened to run into Kendall Williams and her dad, also <laughs> right. a UGA Olympian, as they're saying goodbye. And I love Ms. Ginger's t-shirt there. She had a friend that made these Go Elijah t-shirts um, because they're going to have a big watch party on Friday morning. So awesome Good. to send him off. This guy, in his mom's word, is an absolute miracle. He was doing sprints at practice, backward sprints. He fell on a javelin. Oh. It impaled his body. I can't even I mean, imagine. It, it missed his heart by millimeters, and he's an Olympian. This is Daniel <gasps> Haw yes. in the hammer throw. He's also a local guy, born and raised in Marietta, Georgia. He went to Pace Academy. Um, I'm sorry, he went to St. Pius, actually. And he now trains at, at Kennesaw State University. Uh, he is terrific. That sport is so much harder than it looks. He is one of the best in the world, and he's going to represent Kennesaw, Marietta, and St. Pius in a tremendous way. Can't yes. wait to share more of his story in track and field. And and it's been fun because Kenny Selman, also a, a native Georgian, has been giving us a little inside look at the Athlete Village. So this is the Athlete Village in Tokyo. He said it's even cooler than he thought. <laughs> he grew up in Mableton, Georgia, uh, Mableton, Georgia, Cobb County. He's a Pace Academy kid. And he says it's just every time he sees those rings, he thinks, oh my goodness, I'm actually here. This has been my dream. He's going to run the 400 meter hurdles. And I can't wait to tell you more about Kenny. He's one of those, you know those people you meet and they're just magnetic? Yes. And you feed off their energy. He's one of the most positive guys. He's going to be terrific and you're going to have so much fun getting to know more about him. Ah, oh, Cheryl, I wish we had more time. But ah, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time to of come course. on and of course to give us that that breaking news update about yeah. Simone Biles. We so appreciate it. And guys, just going forward, uh, please make sure that you do keep it locked right here on 11 Alive. Uh, we're talking Olympics all week long for the next two weeks.